Okay. Right. Come Watch some piece here. of this, eh? Give me a Okay. I'm ready Wait. for this. I'm ready I'm for this. Just Watch doing my job. This, eh? Just doing my okay. job! Almost 10% of people have jobs that make the other 90% of people hate them. Now, before you lash out at any of these people, remember, they're just doing their job. Someone's got to do it, and you should be glad it isn't you. Hi, Betty. Come on in, jerk face. Who, me? Shut up! I'll come back. Don't you turn away when I'm talking to you! Now sit down! Okay, okay. Don't get so upset. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Oh, I'm just seeing if you can handle withering verbal abuse. Top marks. Well, it's good to know you didn't actually mean everything you said. Hey, Betty? Hey, Betty? Well, if she doesn't mean it, I do. You schmutz for brains, shy gets. <sighs> Suck it up, Jack. Suck it up. You're a klutz, Jack. A no-good neck. A mumser. Me damn mean. With a heavy heart but an unbroken spirit, I am all over it. Piss off, lowlife! <laughs> what did you say? Have a nice day. Up yours, creep. <laughs> One hot dog, please. I can't give a ticket to save my life, and I still get insulted. How do you withstand the constant abuse, Carlos? No hablo inglés. No comprendo nada. Oh, right. But what about you, Vulture? You speak English? How do you take it day after day? <coughs> Not very well, I'm afraid. Remember, Vulture, you're just doing your job. They're not really mad at you. They're just mad at themselves for parking so poorly. I hate when they insult my mother. My mother didn't give them a ticket. Why bring her into this? I'm heading back out. Maybe this shift I'll get lucky. Wait, young man! Stop! <laughs> Uh, here you go! <laughs> Take advantage of an old woman, would you? Just doing my job. Since you like your job so much, I'll cut you! I am you, pinch of hate! Make this loser really great! <laughs> May you do your very best! On this job. Ooh, gypsy curse. Like that's ever worked. Oh, you'll learn. And when you do, you'll remember the name of Madame Fortuna. Believe me, there's no way this curse is gonna work. I totally suck at this jet. Excuse me. <laughs> In your face, car. What's going on? Expired meter? No, 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 please, please don't take in my car! I'm sorry, I have to. Ah, oh, stupid meter maid! Double park car! I promise, I won't do it again. That's the speed, Father. God damn you, meter maid! Parked in a handicap zone. 
Cut me some slack. No nope. can do. I despise you, meter maid. Me too. Jeez, I've done so well I'm out of tickets, but this abuse is kind of depressing. Maybe my friends can cheer me up. What's your problem? Nothing. Have you checked the public enemies list lately, Jack? I'm sorry? Oh, don't play dumb with me, Jack. You know the list. It's only got all the most evil men and women in the world on it. Yeah, if you don't know it, you should, Jack. You're on it. What? That's right. Looks like you've earned quite the reputation in your new job. You're even ahead of Leo. What? He's only ranked number 54 in the official listing. You've made it to number 47, right between Slobodan Milosevic and Michael Eisner. Did you just hear the meter out front expire? Excuse me. How can he be more evil than me? I've stolen spy satellites. I've induced mass masturbation. I've spammed. Ah, what's the use? Come on, Leo. Don't kill yourself yet. Do you want to go out, number 54? You're right. Jack's not evil. It's an insult to evil people everywhere. Soon, the people of this world shall know the true evil face of evil. A little help. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. What's your problem? Pulled my back! Well, let's get evil, shall we? Bring me my spellbook and my robes. But I have nothing against Jack Ryder. Jack Ryder is my friend. By the way, Bobby. What's that for? The right front tire of your van's up on the curb. I thought I'd do you a favor and bring you the ticket. Don't thank me. Gotta run. What is your bidding, Leo? <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Don't you dare to get my car, honey. Sorry, Ma. You ungrateful little bastard. Come on, Ma. I told you about the hex. It's not like I have a choice. I was picking you up from work. Thanks for that, by the way. Nothing like a dozen steaming crawlers. Soon you will be inside of me, my pretties. What the? Ryder! Uh, can't help self. You grosser pups! You. Uh! I hope this won't affect our working relationship, Mr. Ivy. Look, sir. It's as plain as the nose on my face. No parking on alternating sides of the street. Every other day of the even months that have a B in their names between 13 and 1700 hours. Get it straight. I hope you get really sick. Don't blame me, buddy. Blame the old gypsy lady. Is that a crack about my wife? Ah! If you write that ticket, I will pound you. Just doing my... It's the curse. All right, let's pound this dick, ladies. Uh, no, no. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, that, that didn't come out right. Ah! Fella, do you know whose car this is? Whose? Tony Alto's. Now scram. You don't understand. I don't have a choice. You're parked in an F zone. No, you don't understand. No, you don't understand. No, you. <laughs> Thank God for you guys. I need some support. What? I didn't think our reputation could get any worse until you came along. Put up on the reins, cowboy. Edison, malo hijo. You're a disruptive influence, Jack. Hey, I thought all us meter maids were in this together. Lord, you should have thought of that before you wrote us all the tickets. All I did was run inside for a latte, and I left my hazards on, you heartless jerk. But I'm hurting. Tell her to a healing circle that gives a sh Anyway, Vulture, you were talking about how you visualize that everybody else are robots that have no emotions. Two, four, six, eight. Jack's the meter made we hate. Two, four, six, eight. Jack's the meter made we hate. Ah!
that concludes this week's meeting of the five municipalities. Any loose ends? Boss, you may consider it a frivolous matter, but it means a lot to me. Go ahead. I'd like to take care of this man. I'm getting parking tickets up the wazoo. This man, he troubles me too. Sparo il suo sancitia apasitia. Take care of him, Dan. Take care of him. Real good. Hey, you're listening to K108.3, and it's time to name our <sighs> douchebag of the month. I don't know if you've had a run in with this guy, but I sure have. His name is Jack Ryder. Now, Ryder, if you're out there listening, you can take my tickets and shove them up your tailpipe. <laughs> because you're our douchebag of the month. Congratulations, everybody hates you. You lucky bastards. Well, I gotta get back to work. Bobby, you've really gotta keep an eye on the clock, buddy. Okay, what next? Are you sure you're qualified to do this? You can call me master. Oh. Okay, master. Now, have you hauled in those corpses? Yes, master. Then it is time. Quickly, to the roof. Oh, maybe I should just pay the damn tickets. Is everything in place? Yes, master! <laughs> finally, finally! The world shall know and loathe the name Leopold Trench! And Bobby. Yeah, yeah, and Bobby. Minions of the night, rise! Rise! Now go out there and make some mayhem! <laughs> Don't forget your jacket. Ah! No stoppage tricks the sidewalk and the bailiwick. What? It's a bylaw from 1911. Found it in the library. Oh, this is just ridiculous. Ah! Help! Ah! He's killing me! Ah! He's eating my brain! Yep, yep, ah! I've heard it all before. Tell it to the judge. There you go. Um, 30 days? Yeah! Jack Ryder? Yes? This is for you. And this is for you. Some pretty hefty fines. Jeez, I am troubled. This zombie problem is getting out of hand. You're telling me. Teach him a lesson, Pasquale. This is what you get for messing with us. And this. And this! You can't reason with these undead. I say we declare war on these zombies. We still haven't taken care of this guy. Hey, what are you, a zombie? Don't be crazy. I'm axing you. Are you a f***ing zombie? Jimmy, I ain't no zombie. <laughs> Jesus, Jimmy. Now get up, zombie. Uh, zombie? Wow, he was definitely working for the zombies. Huh, Rocco? <sighs> Enough about the zombies! The zombies are ants and we got rats! This rider guy's a terror, he's finished! Now grab a bat, let's go. Oh, I feel so young again. <laughs> Zombies! They're here! You'll fear! Get used to it! Now let's ask our man on the street to ask a man on the street what he thinks about them. Here we go. The zombies, nah, nah, they're not so bad. You know, you give them the space and he had a kind of gothic ambience. Ooh, and I hear that being a zombie ain't so bad either. Nah, nah, it's that annoying parking authority guy that really burns me up. I mean, come on. It's a death threat from your own sister. 
Congratulations, buddy. I can't stand being hated anymore. It's driving me crazy. So why don't you stop giving everyone tickets, starting with me? I can't. I've been cursed. Why don't you have the curse removed? Because I win the. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Hang on. Hmm. Uh. Oh. I think this was her card. Yeah. I'll see you later. I'm beginning to think you're never gonna be more evil than Jack. I need to get out there and be more evil. And yet, I've taken a solemn oath never to leave this apartment in my lifetime. Bobby, I need you to kill me. What? Please, just so I can come back from the dead. It would mean a lot to me. Maybe. No, I can't, I won't. So, after disinterment, you've regained your principles, eh? Well, if you won't do it, then I'll find someone who will, or something. I won't be a party to this, but I'll stay and watch. Initiate hanging sequence. <laughs> Leopold Trench, this will be your finest <laughs> act. Oh! Please forgive me, Madam Fortuna. I don't want to be so good at my job. Help me be mediocre, like I used to be. I forgive you. So, the curse is lifted? No. Why not? What more do you want? What more can I give you? Mm. No. Really? Mm. Do you want another curse? No, thanks. Gorgeous. Then enter! Um, shouldn't we have some protection? Where is it? Oh, great. Mmm, you're handsome. Take me. Oh, I feel electric. That reverse cargo position was something, huh? So, is the curse lifted? You tell me. Oh, that guy's parked in a designated fire route. Damn, now what? Oh, looks like we'll have to do it again. Good thing for you, I'm the world's best lady. Ah! Dear, dear, and push my hip back in place. Oh. Hi, hi. Is it lifted? What do your senses tell you? <laughs> Volvo parked in a towaway zone. Oh, oh. What more can I do? <laughs> I think we need to get to know each other more. Go on dates, spend quality time. Mom, this is my new main squeeze. I think she used to be my first grade teacher. <laughs> I can't marry you! Whoa! Slow down, Tiger! I'm too young for commitment. Wait a minute. You went to the Warlockery program in Tijuana? Correspondence! <gasps> Now, I'm beginning to suspect that there was no curse. What if I said you were right and you did all this on your own? I would be somewhat proud. Then I would be very sick. Ah! A mob of the undead! Look, all I wanted was a good time. Don't you bring your zombie trouble back to my trailer. Get out of here! Fine! Where are my pants? <laughs> Zombies hate me! Hate me! <laughs> Don't like castles, eh? Me be back. Please, ever since I was a little boy, I wanted to be good at something. And for once, for once I was. And it felt good. Kill him! Mr. Fister, you're a zombie too? Actually, no. Eat brains! Oh well. At least I'm going out on top. Wait! 
Me just had interesting chat with Taxman. Okay, okay, I'll do it. He say you all gonna be audited. <laughs> Why you evil bastard? <laughs> Took it too far. Yeah, probably. Now let's find the rest of you. You may have to help me with some dezombification spells, especially if we don't find my arms. We'll see. And that's what happened. Most of the remaining zombies were actually recruited to parking enforcement. They could take the abuse. I guess that's one of the perks of being undead. No feelings. Madam Fortuna kept the curses a coming. I'm here to have the hex removed. Come right in. As for me, I thought the gypsy's curse was really a blessing in disguise. But underneath the curse was another curse, and <laughs> I have to tell you, it burns like hell. Well, I'm a normal schlep again, and that's the way I like it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> I don't know, Betty. I feel like I still got a lot of bad vibes clinging to me. I know exactly what to do. Hey, uh, Betty, I think I just need a hug. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Jack. Yes? Why do you smell like old lady? Oh.